all right guys welcome back to another video as you could tell from that thumbnail we got some basswood to split but first we got a sticker and we got a hat from arizona kid so his channel because a lot of you probably don't know yet because he's not a wood hound he's an atv hound he drives atv uh, i think he has two atvs maybe just one uh all around arizona there's a ton of trails everywhere around where he is it's super cool um if you have an atv and uh, it needs repair i mean he's the channel to watch and you can ask him questions about it and stuff but really cool channel go check him out and also we got his sticker as well as the hat that we're going to place on the splitter and also life in the 906 i got your sticker that was f i put it on on a splitting video that i didn't upload to youtube so that clip is right here mike from life in the 906 yep we got a sticker hey at least yours is easy to peel off here mike <laughs> i had a hard time with the other mike sticker with sweat and tears we're gonna put you far away from the other mic because opposites attract and likes repel oh yeah all right there it is oh does that look pretty sexy all right, let's get her fired up. It's gonna be a lot more powerful now. <laughs> thank you, Mike, and thank you, the other Mike. We got two stickers on there now. I think I'm gonna um, move Brad from Nelson Ridge Farm onto the splitter, and we're not gonna do wheelbarrow anymore because I have a splitter now. Don't need stickers on the wheelbarrow. Let's see what we can do about it. And there he is, right there. So, uh, this kind of area right here is full next to the Oregon logo. So I think I'm gonna start moving down to this black bar. Here is Arizona Kids sticker. And it kind of just barely fits on there. I mean, it's probably gonna start peeling if I put it on there. So we're just gonna flipsy do you around and put you on this side because there's more space. So, whenever I get a sticker that's uh, smaller than yours, Arizona kid, uh, probably gonna put them on here because my splitter doesn't. Oh, well, we got that side too as well. So, oh yeah, I guess we got room for a lot of stickers on this side, but I mean, the camera probably won't be showing much of this side of the splitter, but oh well, I'm probably, this isn't gonna be the stationary spot forever. It's gonna be moved around, so. Yep. All right, let's uh, put the sticker on here and get splitting this basswood. All right, here goes. All right. Arizona kid. There it is. You're all lonely. You're all lonely, Arizona kid. You're the only one on here. <laughs> all alone in the corner and the rest of the gang on this side is having fun <laughs> all right so my plan with this basswood i'm gonna hand split some of it and split with the splitter some of the other stuff the splitter is going to be splitting the little stuff and the reason why is because the the little ones don't stand up on their own very well but the big ones do because there's more surface area on the end grain. Um, the ones I'm going to hand split are obviously going to be the bigger ones. And what I'm going to do is just roll them out into my lawn where there aren't pine trees above us to catch the axe on my swing. Don't want that. So we'll roll them out there and get some hand splitting done. Basswood splits really nice if it's straight grain. Easiest splitting wood I've ever split before. So that's why I'm hand splitting some of it because it feels great. So. Let's get the splitter fired up and we'll 
split up these little tiny ones. Here we go. split. Uh, the reason why I split that really big round was that was the buttress log. So the one that is really down far low to the ground. That can get a little stringy towards the very bottom of the round and it did on that one. I'm glad I split it with the splitter but the rest should be smooth with the axe. You're gonna see it's gonna be beautiful. So let's roll some of these rounds out and we'll get the Fisker's axe out and we'll get to splitting. That's enough for now. We'll see how we're feeling after these ones, but I have a feeling that it's gonna go really smooth. like a charm. Let's get these other ones. Man, maybe these are really tough. Look at this one.
let's go grab some more. <laughs>
Look what I found. Whee! I suppose I have undone super fast time lapse time. So I'll show you what I got. Just that little bit left. And there is where all of it is. Um, this is honey locust I'm moving. Uh, very, very hard, dense wood. I think it has higher BTUs than red oak and white oak. Very, very hot stuff. So it's getting moved because I'm going to be stacking wood where it is in the time to come. It's kind of like in the way because you want to do your stacks like parallel to each other to save more room. And that one was going a funky way. So I'm just going to finish this little bit up here and then we'll do something else that's fun. There it is. It is complete. So, uh, what's the, uh, little line is I'm trying to go across it eh. right there all the way along. That's the separator for, uh, there's a whole face cord on the bottom and there's a half a face cord on the top. So that's where the line is for that. That separates it. So there we go. We got it moved. It's looking a lot different in here. It's a lot more opened up in this area. So got a lot of wood coming. So getting it all ready. It's pretty nice in there. So now I'm going to finish picking up that basswood from the lawn and get it stacked. Here we go. All right, there is all the basswood that we split by hand and the rest is right here. So we're going to get at this stuff with the splitter. Maybe not in this one, Logan. It's getting a little long, like 25 minutes. I think I just edited a ton of this video and uh, we're not going to split basswood in this video, especially because I haven't even done it yet. So um, I'm going to end this video here. So guys, do me a favor, go check out Arizona Kid. You might like some of his ATV videos. And also Mike over at Life in the 906. He just got a sawmill. Oh man, he's gonna be making lots of lumber with that um, wood miser that he got. So links are down in the description below. Check that out before you click on to the next video. So thank you guys very much for watching. We'll see you in the next video.